What's up you guys? It's Brandon Kibler up with a quick video, a um, boss of bosses powerlifting meet recap video. Um, I apologize actually at first. I know they don't have that many views so whoever's watching this may not even know what the hell I'm talking about. But uh, I wanted to do film my entire prep for the boss of bosses powerlifting meet. But frankly my phone was always being a pain in the ass. The phone was full, the storage was full, the pictures couldn't be taken, video couldn't be taken, blah 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 blah. So huge props to everybody who actually films entire preps, like entire bodybuilding preps, entire powerlifting preps, whatever you're filming, the entire prep, huge props to you because I did not have the patience at all to deal with that stuff. Um, so now that that's said, hopefully more people may watch this, but uh, uh, first I want to thank Dan, Dan Green and his wife Sparkle for putting on another great meet. I actually did the uh, first Boss of Bosses and that one was ran, I couldn't have asked anything better. And um, this one was just the same. It was a great run meet. Every meet has its little ups and downs at points. Um, nothing ever goes perfect. Um, and I've accepted that over the 10 powerlifting meets that I've gone through. But in the end, it was great. Um, they brought in the elite of the elite of the elite powerlifters. If you ask me when I first got into this, if I'd ever be in a meet where I got to witness someone break the all-time squat record, I would have said, hell no. Um, but I actually got to see that, and watching Andre get ready for that attempt, watching the whole process was just amazing. Watching Eddie, Ed Cohen walk him out with it, watching that, everything was just, it was amazing to watch. I honestly am still speechless by it because you actually got to witness something. I mean, it's different, it's different seeing it on a YouTube video or watching it streaming on bodybuilding.com. Um, but watching it in person and the entire, uh, giving it the integrity and everything that goes with it was amazing. Um, I actually, I got my 402 bench press and then they said, Andre's about to squat a thousand. I got that up and immediately stood up. I had a cramp back and I was like, I, my cousin was there and I was like, yeah, we gotta go watch that. Um, so, I mean, I think I'm a relatively good powerlifter right now, and I'm still a child when it comes down to stuff like that. Like, if someone's about to hit an 800-pound deadlift, I'm going to get psyched. If anybody's about to hit a 1,000-pound squat, 1,032.6 or whatever it was, I was psyched beyond belief with that, um, just being able to witness that. Um, and, sorry, my hand got sore. But uh, again, I got to meet people that, you know, you aspire to be at that level at some point. Um, I got to meet Chris Duffin, talk to him for a little bit. I got to hang out with my buddy Eben, who's sponsored by Animal. Um, we both graduated from Washington State, so being in a meet again with him, we've done powerlifting meets together, but being again, hanging out with him, it just created that little homey feeling. Um, seeing Dan Green get ready for his attempts. Seeing Derek Kendall, who is the size of a house. <laughs> Derek Kendall's huge. Actually, just seeing him in his frame was uh, something to behold. He's a big dude. Um, he made everybody there look small, in my opinion. Um, but watching him do his attempts was great. It was the overall experience was something I hope to be able to see again. But chance you can't ever say something like that may happen again. I'd hope to do boss of bosses again next year, and maybe you know Kendall will come in and go in for that squat record, or uh, Eric Lillibridge will come in and go for it, or somebody. There's little kids running by, but um, so yeah, overall it was a really really great experience. Couldn't ask for anything more. Um, on my own, I got a, a 694 squat, a 402 bench press, and a 722 deadlift. Uh, to go over the little details, um, my squat I failed at 722. And the only problem I had with the meet overall is that I personally, I just, it was kind of rushed in the beginning. Um, the warm up room, of course, everybody's getting a feel for how people are warming up. So it never goes perfect, especially on squats. Um, so I walked out of the, did my last warm up, and all of a sudden I heard my name being called the squat. Uh, so I was like, oh shit. So I did my wor last warm up and then went for my first attempt, which was 694. And I missed it. I didn't. I hit parallel on the dot. I didn't go low enough. Um, my buddy again, even and my cousin had to speed up with wrapping my legs. So no excuses, but that's what happened. Um, and then my second attempt, I went down for the 694. Got that. Sank it. Did well. And then um, for me, I was planning on coming in. I wanted to hit a squat PR no matter what. Um, so I wrote down 722, and 
I didn't get it. Um, they had chalk at the meet, but when I was looking for it on that, I could not find it. So I had none on my back and I was sweating hard. So when I set up and I was going down, the bar started slipping and I could not fix it. There was nothing there to stop it or at all. So my chest went forward and didn't get it. Um, I definitely had that in me. I was kind of pissed off at myself that I didn't get it. Whether I had chalk or not, I really wanted it. Um, but you know, there's another meet in the future. Um, bench, I started out at 385 because if anybody who has worked out with me or knows me, I don't like bench pressing. It's just, maybe because I suck at it right now. But I got 385, so I always start out with, like squat and deadlift, I will go for something on the first one. I will try it, because in my heart of hearts, I feel I can get it. Bench, I will always go for something I'm comfortable with. I, so I got 385, got on, and then went for 402. When I got 402, I locked out and my back started cramping. And that's when I saw Andre do his squat. Um, so, and the lady, my back started cramping and even one of the judges came up to me and she's like, wow, that was a real grinder. I was like, yeah. So I just went with 407, um, went down with it. And right when I started pressing, my back cramped up again. So failed on 407, on the deadlift. I started out on 700, which is my last PR that I got in a meet. So I did that a lot, my last meet, got it easy. Um, my next attempt was 722, which would be a PR. I got that and I was on cloud nine. Um, I was very happy with that. 22 pound PR is always nuts. I'm always happy with that. Um, and then I went for 733. In the process of pulling it, I ripped my calluses, um, literally both my uh, ring and index one. Um, and the minute I felt that, it just stung. I've actually never had that happen before. So I was like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> um, so overall, I had an 18 18 total. Um, squat, I, of course, I wish I did better. Bench, I wish it went better, but I got a two pound PR my last time, my last meet, I got 400. So I got two pound PR. Um, but deadlift, that redeemed my, that made it all worth it. I had a 722, um, and I feel like I had more in me. So I was definitely really happy with that though. But um, yeah, I mean, Overall, it was a great meet. I hope to do the next one if they do it again. Judging by how um, big that one was and the amount of people that showed up, I'm assuming that there's going to be a Boss of Bosses 3. Um, so I hope to be able to do that at some point. I met some great people. I met some great lifters. Again, it was a true experience being able to witness that stuff. Again, it's not like watching it on YouTube. Um, it's completely different when you see it in person. I mean watching videos and stuff and watching it stream that was great that's why being able to do that's great but when you actually get to witness it it brings it to a whole new level when you witness the whole process that is being done when you see like seven guys holding down Andre so he can wrap his legs I mean that was just something to behold um, got nothing else to say it was a great meet um, thank you to everybody again the real one reason why I wanted to do this video is because I, my Instagram is blown, not blown up. I'm at, I got a lot more followers. It's all for the followers. Um, but, uh, and I got lots of messages on Facebook from people who saw it, like, hey, I saw it, I'm see you're in Boss of Bosses. And they were saying, good luck, uh, wish you the best. And I was just jaw dropped by the amount of people that I had hitting me up who have no clue who I am and have no clue at all what I was doing except the fact that I was competing at a powerlifting meet. And I got some just great, great responses from people who are just saying good luck and it just made me feel great to be able to hear that and see that um i hope to be in another meet at this magnitude because i honest i knew boss of bosses too would be big but i didn't know it would reach that level i didn't even know bodybuilding.com would be streaming it until like two days beforehand and i just one of my buddies actually told me he would be watching it um so anything i would change yes um, I will probably not be doing or making an attempt to do 220s for a while. Um, I've done 220s and I've missed weight by like 222 at the last meet I did. Um, but this meet, because of moving down here, my job circumstances, life circumstances and stuff like that, I don't think I really had the time to be able to put forth to be able to lose the weight to get to 220. Um, I actually made the attempt the day before driving up there to go sit in a sauna. I dropped about 10 pounds something like that eight to ten pounds um and then they came and told me that the sauna was being closed at the gym 
So I was like, I told my cousin, I was like, man, if I'm not below 230, I'm doing 242s. Stepped on the scale, it was 230 on the dot, and I was like, all right, man, I screw it, I'm gonna be doing 242s. So I ended up weighing in at uh, 233 or 234 at the meet. So, which may have been also a result of the fact that my back cramped up beyond belief because I decided to sit in a sauna for two hours. Um, I didn't do it for two hours. I did like 15 minute intervals. I'd get out, go in for 15, then go in for, um, get out for five and go in for 15. Um, but unless you have someone with you the entire time, I don't recommend that for people. One personal reason why I did want to do it is because I've never done it. And I've had clients come up to me and say, hey, how do you feel about the sauna? And how do I give a response if I've never done it, you know? Um, so in my opinion, stick to water loading. I've done that before and usually it works. I should have drank a lot more water though this time. Um, I've done three gallons before and the last meet I did four gallons for the first couple days. And as sucky as that is, and as everybody's made, people may say that's really stupid, it does the job for me. Um, but this time I decided to do three gallons and it wasn't enough. Um, so yeah, I'll probably be doing 242s and I'll just cut down to like weigh in at like 234. Um, I enjoy the cutting process. I think it's just a part of the whole powerlifting process, the programming, the weight, the supplementation, everything about it. I feel it's just a part of the process. And um, I like the eating afterwards. I don't like overeating so I like the cutting process so I can go to Red Robin and have my fill um, but so that's that if you have any questions feel free to send them at the bottom I don't really throw my videos around that much so hopefully maybe some response can come up on this um, I'm gonna try to start doing more videos for like younger powerlifters because actually again I got a lot of Facebook messages from doing this meet so I'm gonna try to answer those um, and send them to people maybe just directly um, and if there's something I feel is to a wider spectrum and not just a personal question, um, I'll post them on this. So that's that. Boss of Bosses 2 was a great meet. Um, thank you again, Dan and Sparkle, if they see this video. Thank you, Andre, for doing that attempt while he was there. Um, and all the lifters, everybody was awesome. Meeting Chris Duffin was great. Meeting all the lifters, everybody that was there, from the elite elite to the amateur, everything was great. Um, so that's that. Brandon Kibler with your Boss of Bosses 2 recap.